Okay. Now for the fun part. We've started to lay out our animal images and our animal captions in a way that makes them look much better. But I'm going to do a little bit of refactoring now to make them look like cards. Now, if you remember from the end, the end result, what we want our page to look like, these are known as cards with an image on top and some text on the bottom. You can see that the, uh, the corners are a little bit bent. We call that border. That's border radius. You have like a little bit of curved borders. It's nice. It's actually, it's a style you'll see applied all the time. It happens again and again and again. You'll see it across all different kinds of websites. People use cards to display nice little chunks of information. So we're going to refactor these right now to make some cards in our HTML and CSS. But that means that we have to get rid of some of the work we just did. So we no longer want the image and the caption to display next to each other. Where do we, where do we want them to display? Yeah, one on the top and one on the bottom. So if we look right here, right now, this is what it looks like. Let's refresh. Oh, still looks like that. Let me make – I think I have to save it. Oh, no, that's right. That's good. So that looks like what I want. But you'll notice, again, when the page gets bigger, this looks gross. Like now it's a giant old image taking up all the space and a tiny, tiny little caption. doesn't look right. So I like to make them look like cards instead where they're stacked top and bottom. That adds a much nicer, cleaner feel to the page. So to do that, the first thing we're going to have to do is make these picture holder divs smaller. We want each of these cards, if you look, to stack right next to each other. How did we learn how to do that? We can display them inline block or we can float them. That's right. In this case, let's start off with playing around with a few things with a picture holder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the picture holders a width of 30%. And all, oh man, that looks so bad, but it's okay. That's fine for now. And would you, would you want to start? Let's just start by displaying them in line and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's not going to cut it, is it? That's definitely not getting us what we want. Look at that. Definitely not working because it's not accepting the height and width value of the rest of our content. Display them inline block and you get something a little bit nicer. That's sort of what we're going for, right? Notice that each of these divs now lines up right next to each other. You see that? Cool. Okay, that's, that's actually all right. I can dig that for now. On top of this, let's make the picture, by the way, the images, the width, let's make them 100%. So they take up as much space as they need to. And let's also get rid of the animal image. See how it says width of 50%, uh, 49%? And how it says display inline block. I'm going to get rid of all of that. Literally, just delete it. See that? So again, what I did is I gave the picture holder div a width of 30%. And I displayed it inline block. And then I came down to my animal image and animal caption divs. And I completely got rid of them. And then, bam, I am already have something that looks a little bit closer to what we were trying to go for here. But you can see, this is clearly not the desired result yet, huh? I'm also going to come up to my images, and you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the border radius also. Bam. So now, it takes up the entire width of the div, the div that it's in. And this, again, getting even closer to what I want for my cards. So I want the cards to look like this. That's much, much closer. Okay. And if we take a look on the big screen, let's see what it looks like on a big screen. Okay, this is a little interesting, but for now, it'll do. The next thing we're going to need to do is I would like to make sure that all of my text, my paragraph text inside there, right here, is display, uh, has a font size. Let's go with 16 pixels for now. Just keep it at 16 or 18 pixels, whatever you feel is, is the best uh, font size to use. I'm going to stick with 16 for the time being because this is looking a little bit nicer. And we were talking about how we wanted both the top and the bottom of the div to have curved borders, which we call border radius, right? We want this part here to have curved borders and this part here to have curved borders. If you try that, if you go to the picture holder div and you say border radius 
like four pixels check out what happens to it I don't know if you can see this great so I'm gonna check it out on the big screen oops excuse me there we go and on the big screen when I do this and I refresh where do you see the curved borders on the bottom but you see them on the top no isn't that interesting why do you think the image still doesn't have curved borders and it's popping out right so it's popping out the size of that div you can try and just go to images right here and say border radius four pixels but watch what happens when you do that if you save this and you come back here you'll see that now it's also curved down here and that just doesn't give the look I, I want we're getting closer again much closer but it's not exactly what we're looking for there's actually another little trick on how you can do this you ready inside your image instead of just giving it four pixels border radius you can choose left top left top right bottom left bottom right so you say four pixels four pixels zero zero let's see how that looks now is that the effect we're looking for the bottoms are square good so it lines up with the div the top is curved the top left and top right are curved and the bottom left and bottom right are curved but now I have a new problem my new problem is that all of my text right here it's bumping up against the sides of the wall how do we fix that again so since margin creates borders or creates space between one div and another div but if we want to create space between the border of the div and the content inside it we use padding which is exactly right Gerald so inside our we have to actually create a new um, rule because I deleted the other stuff animal caption let's give that padding of 2% and see how it looks okay check it out let's give it let's try 3% 4% 5% 5% looks okay. How does that look? You okay with that? Let's see how it looks on a bigger screen. What do we think, guys? Is that is that the effect we're looking for? Is that all right for now? This is starting to look like a card, huh? Much, much, much closer to a card. But you'll notice something else here. Each of these elements, one is up here, each of them has a different height, and so they all line up at the bottom, but at the top they look all funky. And if you look at our final example, notice how they're all lined up at the top. Does anyone know why that is? Even though they're different sizes, this one lines up at the top. Interesting. So there is a way to fix this. Instead of displaying them in line block, try floating them. Float them left and see what happens. Float left. What do you see happen here? Immediately. They all line up directly next to each other. In fact, they don't even give each other any space. Check this out. But there's something else that happens here. Now my container div, see the container div? Now these are extending beyond the container div and the container div isn't going all the way to the bottom to fix that. I wonder why. This is one of the quirks of floating. When you float things, you have to be super conscious of the spacing and ha and the contain the parent divs that hold them because the parent divs will not automatically extend to hit the bottom of the divs if they're floating we have to use something called clearing to fix this and we're gonna do that actually in the next video this one's getting a little long so I'm gonna paste this code into slack so we can all be up to speed and then we'll go from there cool all right let's get it going